Hello everyone, my name is Alex. This is an episode of a course, How to Learn Java Within 50 Days. Link to the full playlist is in the description below. In this episode specifically, we're going to talk about random. What the random is, is that it gives us, we, we give it some information and it gives us back a random number. Uh, so, for example, if we want a number in between 100 and 200, we'll get a random number, so maybe 158 or 136. We can even do uh, do uh, double decimal numbers like uh, 3.2 or 3.35 or uh, 45.263 and all that good stuff. The way we use this is, uh, if you're following this series along like as a course, uh, you will remember from the last episode, that we were creating scanners, and for those we need to we need to import things. For the randoms, we also need to import things, and it's actually located in the same library, so to say. So under the java.util, just like the scanner, you got the scanner here, the scanner like that. But instead of importing the scanner, we're importing the random, and the way this works again is that. It looks for, it looks in the Java util file here, and the Java, uh, the in the Java library, the util, and then the random. I think we can even see it down here. Yeah, we can probably, uh, in some way, it should be somewhere here, under the resource or or something, and uh, basically it's a jar file containing all these things here. So now, in order to use the random, we need to create a create an object just like with with a scanner so we create an object by type the class name capitalized or not capitalized but with a capital uh, letter in the beginning here and then followed by small letters actually it doesn't have to be like that it depends on how the class is set up so maybe we're creating the IO exception here and it's spelled like that but it ha it's case sensitive so you, you you must get it right so random the capital R, uh, and by invention, mostly or normally, they have an uppercase letter to start to start off with. As I told you before. Um, so random, and we're going to name this random. We can of course name this whatever we would like to, uh, and then after naming it, we can just do equals to new random. So we're creating a new random, and Right at the same same point point in time, we are making the random into new random. So we're setting it equal to completely new random, just clean clean uh, clear. And um, gonna go down one row here, and we're actually going to generate or randomize a random integer, and we're going to put put or actually a few integers. We're going to put them in different system out or print statements here. So. We're going to create a few integers. I'd like to have them up here on the on top here, and we're going to name them here. I don't know if, if if I told you this before. Well, but if we create multiple integers here, for example, uh, we we could for example create um, random one r1. We could create the r2 and the r3. So we've got three random integers: so random one, random two, and random three. You can of course name them whatever you want to, and uh, I basically separated them by comma, by commas, and I didn't even define them. I could actually define them in here, uh, like equals to four, uh, but I didn't because we we're going to define them down here. So the way we define them now is we want each one of those to have a random number between uh, 100 and 200. Actually, this can be between zero and 100. Uh, 100 and 200, and this can be uh, 200 and 300. So in order to to get the the first one, it's going to be really simple. We type in R1, and then we use a random object, a <laughs> a random object, a random object, and we do random dot next int to randomize a new integer uh, for us to use. And now this is just going to randomize an integer that's a comp that's really really insanely big. I think it goes between like, uh, oh, wait a second, it needs to be, uh, I think, 1.6 1. millions or something. Uh, no idea really, but it's basically insanely big 
and uh, and what we can do now is that we can limit limit it to go from only uh, zero. It will always randomize from zero unless you do some extra extra things. So from zero to a hundred, for example. So we'll, it won't it won't go any higher than a hundred when it randomizes itself. So it will always be at a hundred, uh, at minimum uh, or maximum a hundred and minimum zero. So that's pretty simple. You could say 58 or something. Let's just print it out. System out of print print line R1. We can even add an extra message here saying, for example, uh, remember we do the pluses like that in Java. Uh, for example, we could we could do um, uh, 0 to 100. We could do that. Uh, random number between in between. Uh, between 0 and 100 and this would say 35 and if we run it again we get 54 look at that and then 71 and 64 and 12 and all of these kind of things so now to generate a number that's between 100 and 200 we do the r2 integer we use this from up here we type equals random dot next int again and that like that it and it's like that and in between 100 and 200 there is still a hundred so we're going to type in a hundred here now this will will randomize a number in between 0 and a hundred so if I would just copy this straight away uh, and type in r2 and I would do a hundred 200 this is not going to work we're just gonna gonna get a number in between between 0 and 100 so we get 31 but what we can do is now, when this number is between 0 and 100, we just add 100 onto that, and it will be in between 100 and 200. So we get 183 and 12. Randomize it again, everything works just fine. Now for the last number, uh, you, you can just pause the video and solve this yourself if you've understood understood everything correctly. Uh, but I'm just going to do it in front of your eyes anyway. So we do next int, randomize 100 again, because in between 200 and 300, there is 100. So we just add 200 to get it start on 200. And uh, that's that sorted out. Run it. We get... 32, 153, 254, and again, we get 57, 104, 262, and you can of course type in anything in here uh, they would like to, to get. Uh, we can even do this with, du with doubles, so we can create a double, we call it random4, and we can maybe type in system out of print line here, uh, random double r4. And uh, what we do is that we do r4 here equals random dot next double because this is not an integer. Now something something you'll have to note here: uh, we cannot type in a hundred here because it has no parameters, so it will r randomize a number in between zero and uh, and one. So if we'd like to have a bigger number like 55.3, I'm just going to show you in a second here. You see, right now it gives us zero point blah 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 blah. I'm I'm, I'm going to show show you how to uh, cap this, how how to get it down to like remove all these things here extra later on. But for now, we're just going to keep it like this. We can actually do plus random dot next int and just randomize a normal integer in between maybe a hundred, and it will go up to ninety two point ninety seven. And and that's maybe what we want to. So there we go. Uh, that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment. And uh, also in the description below, you can see some options, uh, the playlist, donations, all that good stuff. Uh, share this video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.